were under the radar screen at NSA, weren't you? I mean, you were. Well, yeah. I mean, I was a member of NSA in 2003, going all the way back to when I remember getting to see Jeannie and, you know, all the greats on those stages and sitting in the very last row wondering if and when I might ever get a chance to be up on that stage. And it wasn't until, uh, let's see, it was 2013 when fortune kind of changed for me because there was an event that happened at NSA that was has become somewhat infamous now. <laughs> and it, it was not a successful one. It was a very negative situation. And they were in search of somebody who could come in and do a positive comedy show to bring things back to a family-friendly NSA. And the man who represented Jeannie Robertson, his name Al McCree, Al was able to refer me to Al Walker, who put together those events. And they took a huge chance on me with the referrals of friends like Ty Bennett and others who had seen me and said, hey, this is the guy who can come in and make it fun again and clean and family friendly. And he's a Las Vegas entertainer, but he's a keynote speaker and nobody in NSA knows who he is. And that was my chance. So 2014 in San Diego is when I finally had the chance to get on that main stage. And even though Jeannie already knew of me and we had shared the stage together at conventions through the years, it was a really neat coming out party for me to my peer group 2,000 speakers all of a sudden sitting there going, wait a minute, where's this guy been? And I was like, I've been <laughs> on the back row. <laughs> that so. is, you were just so sweet and precious and just waited for that time. And I remember all of us were just in awe. I remember I was sitting on the front row and I watched Jeannie and I thought somebody was going to have to give her some oxygen. She was laughing so hard. And Nito Cubain too. Nito was absolutely enthralled with all that you do.